Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to tackle something that's been on my to-do list since I've owned this car. When I got this car a little over three years ago, it was driven out to me uh, from my, by my brother from Seattle where my dad had purchased it from the original owner. Now he did his best to look over the car and send me as many photos as he possibly could. And he must have overlooked this. What's missing here is the lock cylinder. And the only thing that I can think of is that someone tried to break into this car uh, with the hopes to steal it. And I'm not sure when this happened, whether it was when the previous owner had it or while sitting at my dad's house for the couple days before my brother could drive it out. Needless to say, I haven't done anything since I've owned it because I just didn't want to deal with it and it being the passenger side it's, it wasn't uh that necessary to get it done right away or urgent but now that i have some time on my hands i want to make it right and fix it so what i'm hoping is is, is that it's just pushed in and maybe uh, has been pushed off a cliff or something uh minor is broken in there i won't know until i can take the interior panel off of the door to inspect to see uh, my parts guy at Honda said there's a couple parts that are difficult to find, so I'm hoping it's not those ones. Um, it does still work, and once I am able to get to the door panel off, I'll be able to inspect to see uh, what the damage is. I hope uh, it's minimal. Now, this is pretty straightforward to get off. I've seen some videos how to do this. A couple screws and basic, basic clips, and um, yeah, so I'm going to put this on time lapse and rip this door panel off and see what the damage is. And once we figure that out, I can start ordering some parts to fix it. So the interior door panel is off and everything looks good. I guess the biggest fear would be that this would be a completely different color. I had that happen years ago. I bought an used old EG and uh, it was red exterior. But when I was installing some door speakers, uh, the inside of it was the, the, the Honda green, uh, which obviously meant it had been replaced during an accident. Uh, so... Anyways, let's peel this off and see. Let's save that clip. I got this cool little tool set for interior panels off Amazon. So let's see if it <laughs> does the job. Hey, what do you know? Cool. I'll have to use to get some silicone to get this back together but that shouldn't be a problem well, nice to clean that up when we're done well, as far as you probably have to go okay so we will have to inspect and see what's in there let me get a light So, it looks like it's just been pushed back off of the bracket that holds the cylinder. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, is take the handle out and see it from this side and see what's going on. So, let's do that. Okay, 
Okay, so this bracket, it looks like it's in fine condition. I clean it up. Nothing looks missing or bent. And the key, the, or the lock cylinder is all intact and nothing is missing off of it. And all of the grooves look fine. It does slide into the handle like it should. And then I think what happened was it just got punched through this pin that slides up through here. So it is a little tricky to get it mounted back in because the pin can't go um, into the handle unless it's after it's installed. And so it's going to be tight getting it up through here. So I'm going to fit angle with it and hopefully get it back together. Okay, so it's back together and it's where it should be. I clean it up. So let's just make sure it does work before I button it all up and that's perfect so now I need to get this last little clip in there to keep the, the cylinder from pushing back out so I'm gonna have to remove this little plastic bracket which is holding these little bars in place and then I'll be able to get clearance to slide up under there so we'll do that now so believe it or not these two bolts that hold the uh, door handle in actually have torque specs and it's 8.2 foot pounds so I got those set and installed to the correct torque spec so now I got to button button this back up and reinstall the door panel okay so everything is back together buttoned up and it works so I'm super excited it seemed to just come off or get pushed in. I assume somebody tried to to blow it in with, with a screwdriver or something, but nothing was broken. So now I'm just going to reinstall the door panel and, and button it up. So I got it all back together and as you can see, it's right where it's supposed to be. Clean it up a little bit and it works. So I'm super happy with that. Um, I was afraid I was gonna find some clips in there that were broken and maybe not be able to fix it with Honda parts or kind of be stuck uh, leaving it the way it was. So anyways, this is, this is good and I'm happy with how it turned out. And uh, now on to the next one. All right, so now that the passenger side door lock is fixed, uh, I'm gonna move on to the next item on the fix it list, which is repairing this broken hood latch. When the car arrived here from Seattle, this was broken. And I guess it's a common problem with the EK Civics and probably other models. I guess a lot of people assume that this latch is on a hinge rather than a, a fixed cable and they go to pull it up and, and it ends up breaking off assuming it's going to hinge up when in fact you actually have to get behind it and pull it straight out. So I do have another one on order from Honda. They're roughly about 20 bucks and I'm hoping that I only have to remove this little panel to access it here where it mounts and then if I can get the car up on a lift I'll have access to the fender liner, which if I remove, I should be able to access everything up here. And I'll have to remove the bumper, which isn't difficult because it just kind of snakes behind the headlight and then wraps around to the latch uh, apparatus. So I'm trying to avoid removing the fender. I don't have a lot of experience doing that and I do not want it to uh have the body lines not match up when i go put it back together i'm not sure how complicated that is to line it up i can't see it being too difficult but again i'm going to try to go the the least uh 
intrusive way by going through the fender liner. And if I can't get it, then I will take the next steps to take this off. But for now, I'm gonna end this one here because I don't want this video to be super long. So I do appreciate you watching this. And um, the next project should be, be, should be me taking care of this hood latch. So stay tuned for the next one. Take care.